Today is going to be yet another day in the life. It's Wednesday today. It's the final work week of the year, and I actually took today off. I was coming up on my PTO cap at work, so I've just sprinkled in a bunch of random days off throughout the week. And I've been choosing Wednesday because obviously we have RTO, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or in office days. And Wednesday is like that sweet spot right in the middle of the week, and it's an office day. So I feel like that's a good day to take off. Breaks up the week really nicely. But I took today off and we're gonna have a nice little productive day. It's like I said, it's the final work week of the year. I'm gonna kick things off with a leg workout, come back, cook a little breakfast, and then I wanna get some website work done. I've been redesigning my personal site. And I think today I might kind of finalize that and then kick things off dev wise, hop into VS Code and just start tweaking stuff. But before all that, we're gonna get fueled up with some carbs and just kick things off. So let's go. Also, check this out. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. I mean, Christmas, Christmas is next week, but I'll take it. Gotta, gotta love Southern California. We're just, we're too spoiled. We're too spoiled out here. I just realized I'm out of pre-workout too. So, God damn it. But whatever, just gonna head out. I'll just grab a Celsius on the way. So let's go. Chef Boyer Derek pro tip for you. You got some cooking spray. See that red dot? You wanna line up your sprayer with the red dot. And you get a perfect spray every time. All right, so the dev task for the day is I wanna finalize some of the designs for my personal site. I'm not redesigning the entire thing. I'm just giving it a little bit of a facelift and I wanna inject a little more personality into it and making it a little more uh, representative of who I am as a developer. As a dev, as a software engineer, as a full stack developer, whatever you wanna call yourself, I think it's really important that you have a personal website online that is just representative of who you are and it's just like your own little corner corner on the internet. I think it's a great place to showcase some projects, some side projects, portfolio pieces, what have you. But yeah, just as a developer, especially if you're like a junior developer and you're trying to like break into tech or obtain your first role, even if it's like a mid-level role, I do think there's a lot of value in having a personal site. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or dynamic. It can just be a simple little static site, but I do think there's a lot of value in that. It just shows that you're serious and I think it makes you stand out a little bit more, especially with employers. So I do think there's a lot of value there and I just want to update mine. Don't, don't go to it. It's not that hard to find. It kind of sucks, uh, but it's definitely something that I want to update. So let's take a look. Oh, but, but before we do that, let's, let's get our, let's take our thesis. If you know, you know. Okay, what are we feeling today? Clarity, motivation, logic, confidence. I'm going to go with motivation because I want to get this stuff done. Bottoms up. So before we dive into the designs, did anyone else get this random email from GitHub? Access to GitHub Copilot is now included in your GitHub account. That's that's awesome. I'll fucking take that. But all right, here is Adobe Illustrator. Yes, I know. I like to do any design work in Illustrator. Uh, Figma and I just, we just don't get along. We get into a lot of fights. But here is the designs to my new site, really leaning into this yellow theme. But yeah, you can see we have like the mobile version and then the desktop version. So right here we have our logo and our favicon. And yeah, like I said, really leaning into this yellow theme. I was originally using the JavaScript yellow and I personally felt that this yellow was just a little too faint, just a, a little too faded. So I came up with this yellow. This is just what I selected. I feel like it's a little stronger. It's a little more bold. But yeah, this is sort of the landing section of the new site, just a little classic dev goof, dev gaff, if you will. But like I said, I wanna inject a little more personality into this. And then into the DOM, when I actually dev this portion up, I wanna bake in uh, a little Easter egg when folks actually inspect this. So I think it'll be funny. Just a fun little inside joke Easter egg there. So yeah, you can see we've got our fold line. I was debating between these two layouts. Ultimately, I kind of landed on this one here. I feel like it's a little bit more personable. And then of course, we've got the desktop version here. And then when users 
here's scroll. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be very like spread out, but just a brief little like follow me section, a few social media icons, get down to the about section. This is all just like placeholder content for now, but you kind of get the gist here. You know, just my overall title, like what I do, my background, my experience. Get down to qualifications. This currently exists, uh, but I wanna like redo this section a little bit. You can see I'm going for this more pill button style. And then we can kind of come down to this contact me section. You can see the layouts that I was playing with. The darker button is representative of a primary CTA, whereas the punched out ghost style button is a secondary CTA. So that's what I decided to roll with. And then a super clean, super simple footer. But yeah, this is about it. This is a super simple static site that I'm just gonna make a few tweaks to on my current site, obviously. So how, how am I gonna build this? Well, I've actually built this entire thing off of something I dev'd up myself called Launchpad, which is on my GitHub. And what Launchpad essentially is, is a boilerplate for front-end developers. It's basically just like a static site starter kit. So if you download this repo and run npm install and run a command in your terminal called gulp dev, it will actually fire this up. And I have all the instructions and all the goodies down in the readme section. I built this like a few years ago. Some of the packages might actually be a little bit outdated. So I need to like update that, but this has a lot of goodies baked into it. It's got Bootstrap 5, it's got Gulp 4. Gulp actually controls everything. It actually does the entire build process, compilation, concatenation, all that good stuff. So yeah, Launchpad, uh, it's on my GitHub. If you wanna just fire up a static site in rapid prototyping, definitely check this out. Feel free to clone it, fork it, do, do whatever you want. I think this is a good place to stop. Pretty much finalized the design, updated some of the dependencies in the package JSON. But when I updated the packages, I actually got an error, which I'm trying to debug right now and maybe like roll things back to a previous version or something. I don't know, it's just like one of those things I gotta figure out. But I'm definitely gonna stop here. I'm gonna take a break and go and get some lunch. I need, I need food. I need food I can't think on an empty stomach. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I did. Just can't seem to figure out this NPM package issue. I, I don't know. Really just hoping, but I, I gotta take a break. I gotta get away from this. I'm really just hoping though I have like one of those proverbial moments of like where it, it, it just comes to me like out of nowhere. But for now, I, I gotta take a step back because it is always important to know when to quit. I need to get out and enjoy some of this 80 degree day, it's almost three o'clock. So I mean, it's gonna be dark in like the next two hours. So I might as well get out and enjoy it while I can. I've been contemplating on using this park pass for Universal Studios Hollywood that I have that I completely forgot about until maybe like a week ago. It was a buy one, get one deal that I did back in July, which is around my birthday. And I've just been sitting on it and it actually expires today. Ticket valid for two days of general admission to park. All park visits must be completed on or on or before December 18th. God damn it. Fuck it. We're going.